Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we are looking at Patriot UA and Lost Meta Gaming. So they had a war during SCC Rewell, and we're going to look at a couple of attacks from Lost Meta Gaming and an attack from Patriot UA because they were so nice as to give me a spot in the clan uh, to watch these attacks and show them off to you guys. So the theme here is Queen Charge Dragons, and well, not just Queen Charge Dragons, but Dragons. So Lost Meta Gaming, very, very fond of dragons after watching this, walking, watching this war, and you'll see why. Uh, Gurkha is going to start the Queen Charge over on the right side, and eventually get inside the base after this Archer Tower. Sony's going to get the second layer on the outside of the base um, over by this cannon. At least that's the plan. So... Then he encounters the CC and the Queen. Very luckily, he gets those skellies in time before the enemy Queen, or the before the enemy CC comes out and distracts him from the Queen. So next is, where is he going to place the dragons? So he starts the the, the king at around 1 o'clock. He's going to take care of all that trash buildings. And it's going to create a nice path for the dragons to, to not have to deal with any of those trash buildings. So we're going to go straight in for the uh, defense buildings at around 1 o'clock, along with the warden. And the queen is just going to work her way towards the town hall. Or the Warden ability saves from the Seeking Air Mine and the Scattershot and the Air Defense damage. As well as getting every single dragon at the same time, which makes it a little bit faster to get inside the base. And, like, at this point, in, well, in a couple of seconds, some of the dragons will be down, so if you use the Warden ability now, then you'll be a little bit less effective. Especially since he's also saving a couple of free spells, too. So Queen's taking care of uh, two air defenses, the Town Hall and the Heroes. So it helps out quite a bit uh, quite a bit for these dragons. He drops some cleanup, which is essential for these dragon attacks. We'll see in a moment. The minions and the Archer Tower, or the Archer, at 9 o'clock take care of a bunch of trash buildings. Or just two trash buildings. <laughs> Three, probably. But he's left up with, uh, what is that, is that five dragons? Yeah. Five dragons. Five dragons at Town Hall 13. It's quite interesting. Uh, the reason for that is the Town Hall 13 added a lot of defense for small troops. So we see the scatter shots added into the, added into the Town Hall 13 meta. And they prevent a lot of tiny troops from taking care of the rest of the base. Like, it's very big uh, splash damage for the Tunnel 13. So when you add giant units like Yetis or Dragons or E-Drags, that negates the effect of the scatter shots. It gives you a little bit of a better edge. Or less of a debuff if you're using the big units rather than the small ones. So that's why they're quite fond of these dragons. They used them for, I think, five of their seven triples. I'm going to show you four of them today. So, Queen wall break into the Inferno Tower. That's going to take care of one scatter shot and Inferno Tower. And then the jump gets into the middle of the core of the base where she's going to encounter sweepers. Sweepers are pretty deadly to dragons, but if you play it right, if you play it right, you can either find a way to have your dragons get through a sweeper without too much damage where you could freeze the sweeper or warn ability over the sweeper or rage the dragons over the sweeper. Or you can have the dragons path uh, from behind the sweeper so they don't even get affected. 
Or you can have the queen charge just take them out. So that's what he did here. The queen charge and also the royal champion for the town hall is a pretty good idea. Because the queen is kind of walking away. So it's a tiny bit of a risk of not getting the town hall. That would have been devastating for Clan War League. So he's left up with like... I'm not sure if he's even lost a dragon yet. <laughs> That's very powerful. And he hasn't even used the Warden ability. So I'm guessing he's either going to use it in second or just going to swag it. So, quite powerful. Really powerful. Um, dragons were kind of a thing at Town 12. But they're much more of a... Much more of a thing now at Town 13 with the introduction of the Scatter Shots. It really hurts the rest of the meta, like Laloon and stuff. But it does help or not hurt dragons. Next up is number 8, Flory. And this is the... Is it the only? I think this is the only non-Queen Charge Dragon attack. So we have the Electrum instead, going for this uh, Scattershot, Archer Tower, and Inferno Tower. And that's going to pretty quickly take care of that base. Now, why didn't he use Yetis? He didn't use Yetis because that would have lured the ground CC, potential ground CC. So instead, he has this e drag and the loons taking care of the archers instead of uh, throwing out the um, ice golems, which is what it would have came out. Had he used a bunch of uh, Yetis to take care of that area. So dragon and minions take care of a couple of trash buildings and start the funnel. Then he's going to drop every dragon from the 9 o'clock area. They're just going to sweep around the base uh, out of range of that second, uh, the second sweeper. They're going to be in range of just one sweeper. That's not too bad, especially when the sweeper is not like when the sweeper is not, uh, like, directly behind uh, an important building. So it's, like, five tiles behind the town hall, so it's not too much of a difference. If it's really close to the town hall, then it's not like the effect gets bigger, but there's a lot more potential for dragons strafing off. But when it's too far behind, then it's just not fast enough to take care of the take care of all the uh, dragons at once. So we're left up with a couple of dragons. Race spell would have definitely been better used with the uh, Royal Champion, but it does take care of what it needs to be, what it needs to take care of. And the heroes are just going to finish it off on their own. So yeah, that is that for the mass dragon attack. And that's a three star for Lost Meta Gaming. And next, we lost to John, taking out a ring base. So, yeah, that was the only non Queen Charge Dragon attack of the video. So, we have the uh, Royal Champion going for a, um, a funnel. That's very interesting. Very interesting way to uh, create a funnel on a base. But unfortunately hits the Tornado Trap, which means it's not possible to actually get that funnel created. But he does have a little bit of a funnel. Probably enough. Well, definitely enough for the Queen Charge. But if it was some other troop that he was trying to funnel, maybe it wouldn't be enough. But yeah, Queen Charge with the, uh, with the jump on the outside. The reason for that is probably because he would he would probably need two freezes anyway if he was to wall break the area because of the uh, multi inferno tower. But now he has the queen going to the top, the top of the base, and he's going to have the dragons coming in from the side here, over by the uh, scatter shot. Queen's just making her way around with a couple of rage spells. And she's not going to have any problems for a while. 
sends in the blimp as well to take care of the town hall. So then the dragons don't have to worry about that. And he also sends the blimp in early enough so then the the drop of the the drop of the uh, battle blimp actually activates the town hall, so it doesn't actually do any damage to the to the dragons outside of what is absolutely necessary. But at the top here, there's a little bit of a problem because of the two archer towers at the top. So it's going to take quite a while for this for this cleanup. But he has like eight dragons left. Really, quite the attack. But yeah. So we're going to take a look at one of Patriot UA's attacks because they were so kind enough to let me in to watch all these replays. So I think we're going to look at Zaki Chan. Yeah, Queen Charge Miners. So I guess uh, Saladin here got a lesson from MCES, who just faced them in War Number 3, and this is War Number 4. So he's going to attack with Queen Charge Miners, which is MCES's favorite attack. Freezes up the scatter shot. Helps those wall breakers get in. And it lures partial lures the CC. That uh that Coco Loon almost got the witch. But not quite. It's a bit of a waste of the rage. Or a bit waste of like I don't know, five seconds on the rage. Because the uh, queen was attacking skeletons. That's fine. So he continues and does eventually see a hound. That's gonna. It's gonna be quite a while on that. Yeah, so 37 by Lost Matter Gaming. That's uh, quite a good score, to be fair. Like, 7 out of 15 is really good for Tunnel 13 these days. But it's somehow not enough for the uh, Poland, for qualifying for Poland through uh, Clan War League. You actually need an average of, like, uh, 40 stars. It's quite the, uh, quite the hill. But it's really not possible for... for just... For any clan, really. So we have the miners and the from the uh, from the siege barracks are actually able to get a bunch of cleanup attack, cleanup troops, cleanup troops, and take care of that area. And they also added some hogs, which got attacked by the gigabomb, unfortunately, but ends up getting the rest of the base taken care of with the miners and the royal champion. The Royal Champion is a really, really good addition to the uh, Town Hall 13. I'm really impressed by Supercell with that uh, that original idea. So yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.